The roster of Kansas City theaters offers up a little something for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, classics, musicals, new plays, yep. children's theater, melodrama. Uh -huh. And a few of them can mount a pretty impressive spectacle. Large casts, mm -hmm. awesome costumes, and elaborate scenery. Ah, and then there's the fish tank at 17th and Wyandotte. Kansas City's smallest theater sees you know, 20, 30, 40, mm -hmm. depending on how it's configured. But the quality of what transpires in this tiny space keeps people coming back for more and proves that its proprietor, Heidi Van, is one resourceful theater artist. Merry Christmas to you, my dear. Let's smoke dope and drink beer. What? For God's sake, you call that flapping? We're being filmed. Deodand. D-E-O-D-A-N-D, Deodand. Deodand. These aren't words, they're fragments. Oh, yell. Oh. The mission of the fish tank is to develop new work from concept to concert by providing a low-risk, low-cost environment that nurtures the development of new work and inspires theatrical entrepreneurship. But now I just say it's a place to create, edit, and debut ideas. Or I say it's a small black box theater in the crossroads that presents contemporary experimental live theater. There's nothing wrong with adding something new to the holidays, but traditions last because they're fun and silly and just plain comforting. It's the most wonderful time of the year, Dawn! I feel like it's important to use the word experimental because things done at the fish tank are untested. They are raw. They are the first either reading, the first production, you know, the first time all of these components are working at the same time and we're bringing in an audience to see like, okay, do they understand what's happening? How do they interpret it? You know, because theater's for an audience. You know, everything's for an audience, <laughs> right? Right, and that includes a certain window on Wyandotte Street. Thanks to Heidi's training at Commedia dell'arte in California, with its emphasis on bodily expression, this very small stage framed the fish tank's first production in 2009 and many others since. It's kind of like an experience. It's like a theatrical experience to sit in the street and watch a play in a window. Like that's crazy and it, it makes me a little nervous. All of the window plays are silent. I do have the ability to mic actor wirelessly and have sound projected outside, but from my training in physical theater, I find that the physical vocabulary is unlimited and also to execute it really well, you have to work at it. And I like working, I like working that hard. The window is an opportunity for me to have a three dimensional canvas in which I use bodies and space as one would use paint or a word. If the ground floor is all about the fish tank, the second story in this building owned by David Ford might now be called the aquarium. What began its life as a yoga studio is poised to play a major role in making Heidi's operation more efficient and economically viable. This room especially, there's many different theater companies that need a rehearsal hall, and this is a rehearsal hall. This has a mirror, it will have a piano, it has a bathroom and a shower and a bedroom. And you're right around the corner from YJ's, and you're right down the street from the Kaufman Performing Arts Center, and you're like in the epicenter of like all the creative people in town. Like, if this block isn't inspiring, oh man, what are you doing? This new and improved physical plant also includes some office space that Heidi refers to as her white room. She shares it with Peregrine Honig, whose birdies shop is also right around the corner, and whose dog Beignet has never met a camera he didn't like. It is to here that Heidi retreats to assemble the pieces of a play she's building with UMKC students from a class called Theater Intensive. Like last fall's Death by Shakespeare, they're given a genre and four weeks to create a show within it. This semester, it's the American musical. I went to college to be an athlete, and so like my approach to theater is very athletic and team-minded. It's like, we have a leader, 
and we all know the play, and we all practice the play, you know, but game time, just be on your toes. Some people think you have to dig and manufacture it in that moment, but it's just like, just be in the moment. Just be ready. Train your body to get there quicker and faster so that you can react and respond. Like, I don't like when things are so prescribed and so, like, I'm an actor and I'm doing my actor voice, and I'm like, ah! Nobody wants to see that. Like, we want to see conversations. This is my grandmother. And we want to see inspired storytelling. You said this would be safe. Well, it is safe. Look at the tower's base. We piled up dry leaves. Dry leaves? <laughs> there will be a slump delay. Among other things, the steady growth of Kansas City's Fringe Festival over the past few summers has spawned a surge of new plays and people excited about seeing them. That in turn means more need for places to develop and perform them, even if it's only 800 square feet. It's a theater lab where we do theater experiments. I have what I need to make this play look and feel like a play you would see at a larger established venue with a 40 year history. I have those things. Oh, that's just the truth of the body, not the truth of the spirit. I don't have, nor strive to have, more than I can manage. With just one person steering the ship, I, this, is, this is what I can manage. One day I will get a job where someone offers me a salary because of what I did with a tiny room in this building and what I created and how I made it sustainable and productive and relevant. I have a dream for Christmas time. I'll spend my time.